So I've marked up some of the wall, as you can see, with um, frog tape. Um, and I've just started putting on a base coat, an undercoat basically. Um, I've got two shades of grey that's going to go on now. And the idea at the moment is, is where the green stripes will be, that will be white. Okay guys, so the idea here is, um, you see I've painted the wall. I painted it all in the, this dark grey, which was a primer of two coats. And now I've also done, I don't know where you can see the, like the triangles as it was, the peaks, um, we're in the light grey. Uh, the underneath there, um, the bottom layer, has had one coat of wood paint. And you can see where I've just cut in with the light grey. Okay, all that area above there's going to be all light grey. That's had the cutting in. I've got to give all this area there, which um, now is one, the first coat of this, this light grey. And underneath here, where the, the triangles are, the peaks, as it was, I'm going up and down so you can see it. Okay, um, that's got to have a second coat of dark grey. Um, and then, it look, obviously it looks a bit crap at the minute, but you can see on that wall there, I've got the green tape. There's tape all the way along there. I'm going to peel that tape off. Then I've got to put two layers of tape either side, because it's going to leave a gap. And the idea is, is to paint that white. So I'll create like, <laughs> It was meant to be like mountain tops or mountain peaks, white of snow on top, and then the light gray is representing, I don't know, I say sky, but you know what I mean, just a different shade. So we'll see how we get on. So I've just, give, I've just given the, um, the light gray coat in, but, um, a, a light gray paint, should I say, another coat. Um, that's two coats. It might need a third coat, to be honest with you. It looks a bit patchy in a minute, but I'm gonna wait for it to, um, to dry out um, and then tomorrow I'll have another little look and then I'll give it another coat with the paint I've got I should just just about get another third coat on and I think that should be good enough then it's a matter of pe peeling away the tape painting the white border in that's going over all those peaks to create the the white yeah like the snowfall on the mountains that's what I'm trying to create um, and then that should be finished so I've just peeled the, um, the frog tape off, and it, um, which was in between, that created the barrier in between the gray, the light gray and the dark gray. So now you can see what we've got now is bare timber. Okay. Let's step back, you can see that around on the walls and going up onto the ceiling. Okay. And the next step for me now is, I actually quite like the timber, but I'm wondering whether to leave it like that or I might mask up um, either side of the light grey and the dark grey um, so that I can paint what you can see is the timber and paint that white so that may be the next step or I may leave it as it is but that's the, the wall and ceiling pretty much finished um, it's just whether I'm going to decide whether to paint the, the brown lines that you can see in the wall okay um, where I'm going to paint that white or leave as is. What do you think? Put, um, put your comments in the comment section.